Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Lou Riley III, aka the Coin Catcher, the number one motivational speaker on social media. Listen, it's a misconception out there that men don't experience heartbreak. I'm gonna tell you, every man out there right now that's over the age of, 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 of 30 has experienced heartache. They've been heartbroken. I'm telling you that because it's true. Now we might not talk about it a lot. We might not share that experience with anybody, but trust me, we go through it. Let me explain to you about the time when I got my heart broken, all right? Now listen, it's gonna be quick. I was 18 years old in the United States Army. I was stationed out in Seattle, Washington. Long story short, I had a friend of mine that worked where you made IDs at. So he hooked my ID up where it said that I was 21 and allowed me to go out to clubs. So I'm going out to the club with my friends and I meet this lady, her name is Nikki, Nikki Banks. Oh my gosh, you talking about gorgeous? Drop dead gorgeous. Coco brown skin, uh, uh, got the curly, uh, long curly hair going on, body, uh, 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 made by armor wear. I mean, everything is in the right place. Sitting up, sitting right. I mean, listen, man. Just talking about her right now, I, I, I feel like I'm falling back in love with her. She was a gorgeous specimen. Every time she walked in the room, it was like she was walking in slow motion. You understand what I'm saying? She was like one of them type of ladies. So the first time that I met her, I see her, she dancing in a chair, you know what I mean? Doing a little thing. So I'm sitting with a couple friends of mine. I'm like, oh, she's dope. My man like, go over and holler at her. I'm like, man, I don't know. He's like, man, let's go over and holler at her. She already dancing. So I go over to speak to her, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, would you like to dance? She looks at me, she's like, no. Why she's still dancing? And I'm like, uh, you sh yeah, I'm sure. So I go to walk away and she's like, hey, excuse me. Just because I don't want to dance doesn't mean that I don't want to talk. So I sit down and we converse a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I lie to her, tell her I'm 21, turning 22. She tells me that she's 27, you know what I mean, turning 28. So, you no, know, she tells me she might be a little too old for me, this, that, and the other. And I'm telling her I'm mature for my age, but she doesn't even know that I'm not even 21 yet. So, you know, I ask her for a number that night. She tells me she don't feel comfortable giving me her number, but that she's there quite often. So needless to say, I come back four or five days in a row looking for her. She's not there. So the next time I see her, it was like on a Friday or Saturday night, I bump into her. I ain't bump into her. I've been looking for her though, real rap. So she comes in, I see her, you know what I mean? And when she sits down, um, she sends me a drink over to my table where me and my friends are at. So I'm getting ready to take the drink and my friend Charles Moore, he's 28 years old. Yeah, I mean, he's an older dude, older than me. He's from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And he says to me, yo, what you get ready to do? I said, get ready to drink the drink. I was like, man, you can't drink that drink without sending her a drink. You know what I mean? Come on, young buck, send her a drink. So I said, oh, okay. So I call the waitress over. I tell the waitress to uh, go get her a drink. He pauses me again. But you can make some one drink over there to the table with three ladies, man. I said, well, you? He said, listen, send three drinks over there, man. So I, oh, send three drinks over there. So after we send, the, after I send the three drinks over there, when they get their drinks, right? When they get their drinks at their table and I see the waitress tell her that they came from me, she looks over, you know what I mean? And he's like, damn, you know what I mean? So then I hold my drink up, you know what I mean? She holds hers up and then you know, I take a little drink, sit it down. So my man taught me a little drink etiquette. So anyway, right, I go over to the table, talk to her a little bit more that night. Um, you know, we had to go back over with my friends. We danced that night too. Have a good time. Listen, man, she had her feet out there. You know what I mean? I can remember this because I got a foot fetish. And listen, man, I'm talking about her feet were so pretty, they look like hands, man. I mean, to me, to a person with a foot fetish, it's like she was standing there naked. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm falling for this lady. Like, everything about her seems to be perfect. You know what I mean? Like, perfect. So, you know, um, she's getting ready to leave, so I tell my friends and I'm going to walk her out to the car. So I'm going to walk her out to the car, you know what I mean? Now, this is after I talk to her, I'm getting to know her a little bit more. So she points over to the direction, so it's two cars over there. So I make the mistake of walking to, like, the older car. And she's like, what made you think that was my car? And I was like, well, I, you know, so she clips me again, you know what I mean? 
opens up the Trans Am, yeah you know I mean, the T-top windows and the whole nine. So she said, yeah, I'm gonna talk for a minute. So I sit in, you know what I mean? So I realized she's trying to show me the candy right now. So I'm sitting in the car, she got the music on, you know what I mean? I'm listening to Bobby Brown, my prerogative, it's that time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, roses are red, you know what I mean? Violets are blue, you know what I mean? You know the songs. So, you know, I'm listening, I'm looking at it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, like I feel like I'm, I'm in a clap. So, she writes her number down, you know what I mean? Slides it to me. She's like, here, don't be afraid to use it. I said, okay, so I get the number. So now, once I, after I get the number, I go back in the club. She leaves, I watch her pull off and everything. I stand out there for a minute, mm, looking at the number. So, I go back in and tell my man and them I got the number. Now, here's my thing though. I don't know when to call her. Like, I, I'm, it's a gray area. I'm like, should I call her tonight or, you know what I mean? So I'm so, blah, 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 blah. So my man's like, listen, text her and just make sure that she made it home safe. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Pull my little Erickson out. You know what I mean? Text her. You know what I'm saying? Make sure she made it home safe. She sends me a text back. Yeah, she did. Beautiful. So. I get back to the barracks and all of that, you know what I mean? And I call her and we set up a date. So we set up a date for like the next, the next weekend. So the next weekend we go out, we enjoy ourselves, have a good time. I get drunk as hell. I'm talking about staggering drunk. So I'm saying to her, um, can you, you know, I'm getting ready to go because I feel it creeping up. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, and I'm looking at her and I'm saying to myself, I'm upset because I done got so groggy that, you know, I can't even enjoy my time with this beautiful lady. You understand what I'm saying? I'm out there trying to impress her. You know what I mean? Showing her that I ain't no lightweight. You know, tilting them back. Now that I did too much. You know what I mean? Now I can't even enjoy the experience. So I'm on my way back to the barracks or so I think. So I'm telling her I'm ready to leave. So she walks me out to the car and as we walk and I'm staggering a little bit. She's like, yo, I can't let you leave like that. You know what I mean? So I was like, uh, she was like, um, where's your keys at? And I was like, right here, I pull my keys out. You know what I mean? She goes over, you know what I mean? Make sure that my daughter car doors is locked. Tell me to get in her car. So I'm thinking she gonna take me back to the barracks. Long story short, she don't. She takes me back to her house. Now we get to her house. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful house. You mean, now let me, well, first of all, she works at Boeing. You know what I mean? She's a director of blah, 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 where they make planes at. So, you know, she's doing well for herself. So, you know, air goes to Trans Am and so on and so forth. So we get to her house, it's beautiful. So I'm sitting down and I'm watching BET on the couch. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really like, I'm, I'm out, you know what I mean? But I'm thinking to myself, you know, something special might go down tonight. So she comes out and she got on this shorts, pajama set, little silk short pajama set, the little socks cute. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh man, she's, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's hitting below the belt right now. You know what I'm saying? So then she says to me, I think I'm gonna sleep on the couch. I'm trying to be a gentleman. So she says, um, can you control yourself? I'm like, yeah, what do you mean? Can I? She said, okay, if you can control yourself, then you can come sleep in the bedroom with me. So lo and behold, I go in the bedroom and I'm laying in the bed with this gorgeous, beautiful specimen from here. So, right? So I'm gonna try to get me a little something, something. So, you know, I'm reaching, I'm touching, and she's moving my hand, stop, don't do that, don't do that. I'm touching it, I'm in a little private area. So she's, you know, getting a little her own, you know, I hear the noise and the moans, and she just says, stop. She's like, we're not doing this, not tonight. You know what I mean? Show me some respect. Mm. So I'm like, okay. She said, would you do that if I was on my period? I was like, no. But in my mind, I was like, shit, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was like, no. And she was like, okay. Then if you wouldn't, then act like I'm on my period. So needless to say, we fall for each other. Now this thing is getting hectic, it's getting deep to the point where her sister gets married and we even talking about a possible double wedding and all of that, but my mom, my mom, you know, who's in Philadelphia, I'm all the way on the West Coast. My mom's like, I wish she would marry somebody before I get to meet him. How old is she? So I tell my mom and my mom, I don't tell my mom that I tell, I lie to her. You know what I mean? I just tell my mom how old she is and you know, so on and so forth. So my mom's thinking that, you know, she wants me because she think I'm getting a pension and I'm in the service. So I tell my mom, no, she's going well for herself. You know what I mean? In the whole nine. So long story short, you know, my mom's like, no, you're not getting married until I meet you. So I'm just saying all of that to let you know where we're at in our relationship. So, you know, 
I'm, I'm still acting a little young. I'm coming home a little later than anticipated. I'm still dipping and dabbing, messing with chicks like my age, young girls that's still, you know, in high school. Cause I'm, I'm 18 at the time. They 17, 18, you know what I mean? So she's getting wind of it, you know what I mean? And hearing about this and that. So she's, she gives me a couple warnings and now she starts sliding. So I'm over the house, I'm chilling. You know, we let we said we 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 like we're a family now. You know what I'm saying? We're a family. She even got she got a son, his name is Craig. Like this dude is calling me, you know, pop. You know what I'm saying? Not pop, but he calling me dad. Now listen, I'm 18. You know what I'm saying? He's like seven, calling me dad. So I'm 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 in my own world right now. So this guy from her job starts calling. Answer the phone, hello? Hey, uh, what's up? Is Vicky there? Um, yeah, so the first time I'm like, who's that? She said, oh, you see, I made a friend from my job. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm giving her a little space and all of that, letting her talk and all of that. So, you know, he starts calling like on a daily basis. So I'm telling her now I got a problem with this. You know what I mean? Now, granted, he's calling on the house phone. You know what I'm saying? So now he starts calling on the cell phone. So, I, you know, I'm telling her, listen, man, I don't know if the dude's gay or whatever the situation is. So, you know what I mean? So, so we start kind of growing apart. You know what I mean? Kind of, she, she start getting real short tempered. And you know how it go. You know how it go when you're done with somebody. So at this point, I'm not recognizing it though, but she's done with me. You know what I mean? So long story, I mean, short, I keep saying that, but it's not a short story. It's a, it's a painful. So I'm fully in love with this woman and everything about it. This is my first woman that I've been with. So she, um, she tells me that she feel like we need a hiatus. That's what, yeah, listen, I think we need a break. You know what I mean? So what that meant to me was she wanted me to go back to the base. So, okay, no problem. So I go back on base. You know what I mean? Now I'm feeling on myself, I gotta get my lady back. So, you know, I'm shopping. At this time, you know what I mean? She's really pulling away though. And I feel it, I'm trying to pull her back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm buying gifts and I'm putting them in between the screen door. You know what I mean? In the door, uh, you know, all different types of gifts, jewelry and all that called. Did you get that? She, yeah, yeah, I got it, Louis. Stop doing that though. Like, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna get my baby back. So it's Christmas time. So now it's Christmas time. So I got gifts for her and, and, and Craig. So I'm taking the gifts over to her house. Now she got this big bay window in the front. So I'm getting ready to walk up. Well, not walk up, I pull up. And I look, and I see the bowl in there. And yo, listen, they in there decorating the Christmas tree. You know what I'm saying? Like she's all like in, in between his arms and he's reaching over her and Craig's over here handing them stuff. Like I'm just looking at this. It's like a movie to me. So I'm like, what the? F I'm hurt. Immediately I'm crushed. Immediately I'm crushed. So I call her. She answers the phone. No, 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 no. I'm lying. She don't answer the phone first. I see her look and I answer. So I keep calling back. So she picks up the phone and then I see her do, you know, like that and walk away. So now we're having a conversation and I'm actually not really going, I don't want to tell her where I'm at. You know what I mean? I don't want to tell her where I'm at. So she's still talking. I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? And then I couldn't hold it no more. I was like, what is you doing? Why you got my man over there? Yeah, you know I made mean? decorating the Christmas tree. I couldn't hold it in. So she comes to the window. She looks like, oh, I know this mother. Like that, it was like that look like, what the, oh, I know this, oh. She comes right out the front door. What are you doing? Coming down the walkway, like loud. What are you doing? I know you're in that, 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 that. Like getting all loud and all of that, cause I, you know, my man's in there. So I'm like, what you mean, what am I doing? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? You got my man all up in the spot with Craig and this, that, and yeah, I'm talking like this is my son and so on and so forth. Like, I don't got no real responsibilities over there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she talking, I'm talking, she yelling, I'm yelling. So I see my man come out and he's standing at the door now. So now automatically I want to go, you know what I want to do. I want to fight. Yo, my man, you know what I mean? Come on down up there. I'm all on that tip. I'm in physical shape, you know what I mean? The army, you know what I mean? I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, Lewis, what's that going to do? It's crushing me right here. She said, that's not going to make me want you. He don't have nothing to do with the reason why I don't want you. Lewis, I don't want you because of you. Boom! 
I'm hurt. So now listen, coming back to today's time, I'm explaining this to a friend of mine today at work to the point where I actually called my mom. I was like, mom, remember when I got my heart broken? She goes right into the story. So let me go back now to what happened. So now, right, she says whatever she says and she storms boom and goes back in the house. She goes back in the house talking about she's gonna call the cops if I don't leave and this, that, and the other. So I'm sitting there, I call my mom right there in the car. You know what I mean? From my nice little cute Erickson. You know what I'm saying? Beep, 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 beep. Call my mom, my mom picks up the phone. Hey baby, you know, and I, mom. And I go right in there telling her what's going on. I'm, got, I'm, got tears coming out my eyes. I'm crying, like I'm crying. But I'm not talking about I'm crying like tears. I'm crying from my soul right now. And I'm asking my mom to call this woman and tell this woman that I love her. You know what I mean? Mom, call her and tell her that I need her. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm begging my mom now. And my mom's like, listen, it don't work like that, Butchie. Butchie, it don't work like that. And I'm like, please, mom, just call her. My mom's like, where are you at? And I'm telling her where I'm at and what I saw and what's going on. And she's like, drive away, baby. You got to drive away. I'm talking about I was stuck. I said, mom, I can't move. Mom, I can't move. She's like, she's going to call the cops, baby. You know, my mom's begging me, baby, please. So, you know what I mean? She hears the hurt in me. So what I'm saying to you is like, I pull off and I go back to the barracks. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting in the barracks and sick. You know what I mean? I'm talking about I'm sick. My heart is broken. I don't know what to say. I keep calling her. She's not answering the phone. She ends up calling my company commander. And my company commander tells me, Lewis, leave her alone or you're going to be in trouble. So she gets the army involved in the situation. So at that point, I realized I had to go my separate way. But my heart was torn and broken. I couldn't even go to that same club anymore. You understand what I'm saying? And every time I think about it right now and I talk about it right now, I'm telling you, even though I'm beyond that, the pain that I felt at that moment when I'm describing it, it tickles me a little bit. We get hurt. You understand what I'm saying? Thank you for sharing your time with my time, making it our time.